Another question that I get asked on a regular basis is, what options do I have if the other parent is not following our parenting plan? Well, the answer is always simple. You go to court, you file a motion to enforce. An analogy that I use a lot with my clients is this. If you have a puppy, are you going to let the puppy do its business inside the home, whether it's a number one or number two? The answer is always no, of course not. I'm gonna train the dog to go outside in the grass and do its business outside. The same thing is with the parenting plan. If you have a brand new parenting plan and the other parent is violating it, if you don't take that parent to court, what is the parent gonna think? Well, I can get away with it. I can do whatever I want because the other parent is not fighting me. The other parent is not taking me to court. So if the parent is violating, you file a motion to enforce immediately. This sends a strong message that, hey, if you're not gonna follow this plan, I'm gonna take you to court and we're gonna keep fighting until everyone obeys the parenting plan. Look, the parenting plan is a contract. All right, it's a contract between two parents as to how they're going to raise their child or their children. So when you approach it from the angle of a contract, then you begin to understand that just like any contract that you would enter into, you have to follow the contract. And if you don't follow the contract, you are going to be in breach. And a lot of times when you are in breach of a contract, what happens? You get sued, you get taken to court. The parenting plan is the same thing. When a parent is not following it, you go to court, file a motion to enforce. Now, that leads me to another point, which is a question that I get asked from my current clients once we finish the case. They'll send me a text message or call me up and they'll say, what do I do regarding you know, Sunday? I gotta drop off the kid on Sunday and mom is not available. What do I do? You follow the plan. Hey, I just called mom and she is not letting me see the child on Friday, which is my normal pickup. What do I do? You file a motion to enforce. You have to follow the plan and mom or dad has to follow the plan as well. If both parents follow the plan exactly how it's written, then you decrease the animosity in the relationship. You have to remember one thing. The parenting plan means that you have a child or children. You have to always put your child first. You have to let go of any animosity that you have towards the other parent. You have to learn to co-parent. These children are looking up to you both. If you're both constantly fighting, how is that gonna look in front of your kids? How is that gonna make your kids feel? So follow the plan and you'll be surprised. I do this every single day. And believe me when I say this, I have so many clients that do not read the plan. Even though we're signing it, I'm going through it. In a month or two, they completely forget what the plan says. And then they're calling me or texting me, asking me, hey, what, what do I do in this situation? And of course, I don't have the plan in front of me, right? I have other cases, it's not in front of me. But the answer is always very simple. Pull the plan. And, I, and believe me, I have some kinds that they don't even have the plan easily accessible. They're like, oh, I gotta look for it. It's somewhere in the house. You gotta have the plan in front of you always, easy access. That way, when you have a question, you can refer to the plan. And of course, I tell all of my clients, you can always reach out to me. But my answer, nine times out of 10, is going to be read the parenting plan. The parenting plan is purposely written in plain English. There's nothing complicated. The parenting plan will tell you who gets the child for Christmas in an even year, who gets the child for Christmas in an odd year, who gets the child for Thanksgiving, who gets the child for their birthdays or summer, Memorial Day, whatever the case may be, spring break, Easter, on and on and on. It's very detailed. The hours are there. You know, you pick up the child 5 p.m. every other Friday. You drop off the child Sunday night at 7 p.m. 
and it tells you where to drop off the child, where to pick up the child. Just to give you some examples, the parenting plan is very detailed. Bottom line is this, if the other parent is not following the plan, take the parent to court, file motion to enforce. The judge is going to be bound by the four corners of the parenting plan. That means that the judge is not going to create a new plan. The judge is not going to go outside of the plan. If the plan says X, the judge is going to order X. It's simple, it's straightforward, and you don't want to have the situation where the puppy is doing its business inside the house, right? You train the puppy to take it outside. If mom or dad violates the plan, you take them to court. And if you are not following the plan, you can expect to be taken to court as well. All right, until next time, this is Antonio Jimenez with Florida Divorce Law Group. Thanks for watching.